Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel WSO2 Bytes. This video is in continuation to WSO2 API Manager series and we will see about API Gateway Flow in this tutorial. Let's start. Here is the agenda for this session. Overview to API Gateway, Gateway Architecture and a technical scenario. This session is going to be more in terms of conceptual. Overview API Gateway. API Gateway is a WSO2 API Manager component that provides a runtime and it's a backend component and API proxy for API calls. It basically secures, protects, manages, and scales API calls by intercepting the API request and applies the policy such as throttling and the security using handlers and managing the API statistics. After the validation of a policy, Gateway passes the web service call to actual backend. If the service call is a token request, the gateway validates itself the token for JWT-based tokens. And in case of OPAC tokens or the third-party key managers, it passes the request directly to the key manager. Although the API gateway contains integration capabilities, however, it is recommended not to use those integration-specific tasks for this particular product. And it should be used only for the gateway functionality related to API invocations. API Gateway Architecture. So the API Gateway Architecture, you can see here, it contains several components at several stages. So we have a default chain, we have on-demand component, and a default chain again. So post-token validation by the gateway for a, like a JWT-based tokens, API Gateway acts upon the API request before sending it to the backend service. It first processes the message to a pre-configured format such as XML, JSON, or the CSV. Then it applies the security policies such as rate limiting, and it collects the statistics as well via handlers. The mediators then act upon the API payload based upon the mediation logic developed. The message is then formatted to a pre-configured format accepted by the backend, which is JSON, XML, or the CSV, and then it sends to the backend service. WSO2 API Gateway supports different transport like HTTP and HTTPS. It is also able to scale on demand in cloud environments and it's easily pluggable for non-cloud environments. So now let's see a technical scenario. So what happens when an API call invocation is made which is protected by the API gateway? There are series of steps executed in a chronological order to achieve the desired result. So first of all, the API gateway, which serves as an entry point for API request made to an API managed by the WSO2 API manager. So the call when received by the API gateway, it first checks for an API proxy. Then it checks for an API resource, whether it exists or not. Then it goes for the token validation process. For a JWT based token, gateway validates itself the token. For third party key manager, it goes to the key manager. and Post token validation, the request is then forwarded to the traffic manager where the throttling policy is enforced and then it goes for checking the particular mediation sequences whether a policy is applied on, on particular resource through in and out sequences through particularly in sequences in initial and asynchronously it's publishing the event to the analytics server. So after all these series of steps executed and giving a success sign then the final call is made to the actual backend service so all these steps are executed in a very short span of time using the robust capability of wso2 api manager so thank you very much for your time and stay tuned for my upcoming tutorials on wso2 api manager and don't forget to subscribe to my channel